Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on August the 23rd, 2016. The title of the message is Heavenly Gifts. And the Lord Jesus began, I am carrying bags. They are heavy, full of gifts. I need to empty my bags, but so far I still have bags that are full of gifts. I am going around passing out my gifts to those who are willing to receive them, but many are not even interested in the gifts I bear. So many of my brides have basically retired. They do not seek anything else from me. They do not seek new assignments, anointings, or spiritual gifts. They are too busy looking up, and I have no problem in you waiting eagerly for my return. But to wait does not mean inactivity. I do not desire to see you idle. You must be busy about my business. So many of my brides are closed up now. They are only waiting for the rapture. Therefore, they are not seeking to branch out into new territories. My brides, even if the rapture was to happen tomorrow, there is still much that has to be accomplished today. My gifts and anointing have not stopped flowing because the rapture is at hand. On the contrary, I am liberally giving to whomever will receive because there are still souls that need to be won into my kingdom before my return. Do not be afraid to take on new projects, begin new ministries, and travel on missionary trips. Just be sure all these things that you do are what I have told you to do. There is always time to win souls to my kingdom until the day of rapture. And after the rapture, there are still souls that must be won into my kingdom. Do not put yourself on a time limit. Occupy until I return. When I tell you to do something, do it. Do not put it off for looking for the rapture. The news about the coming rapture is supposed to bring joy into your heart, not send you into a state of idleness. Souls are perishing all around you. It is your duty to minister to them my salvation. Listen to my voice. What have I told you to do that you have either ignored or pushed aside for looking up for the rapture? If you know that you know that I gave you an assignment, however big, labor-intensive, and time-consuming it is, go on and do it. I have a purpose for every last-minute ministries that I initiate. If you are unsure as to whether it was I talking to you, or if you are talking to yourself, then seek confirmation from me. I want all that I intended to accomplish before the rapture completed. Much information is going to be needed by those left behind after the rapture. They are going to need the Bible care packages you left behind, the sermons you preached, and the messages you uploaded on social media. I am right now preparing for them all the materials they will need during the Great Tribulation, through you. You are my hands and feet, and my mouthpiece. Therefore, complete all your assignments, and stop sitting at the gate or on the wall, idle, waiting for me to return for you. Remember what my word says. That day will sneak up on you like a thief in the night. You will be marrying and being given in marriage, making business deals, going to school. You will be doing your regular daily activities. You will be busy, and then all of a sudden, you will hear the trumpet blast, and then that is when you will stop what you are doing, for I will have returned to bring you home with me. Some of you will be so busy, still having unfinished projects, that you will be wishing for more time, But on that day, time will be up and you, my brides, will be coming home with me. Accept my gifts. I must empty my bags and give you some time to use the gifts I have given to you before I return for you. I cannot return to my father with even one single gift. We carefully chose the gifts, prepared them for you, and all you have to do is accept the gift I give you. One way or another, these bags are returning to my father empty. If you willingly refuse my gift, I will not take it back to my father. No, instead, I will find someone who is willing to accept it, and whoever wills will receive from me. The first choice belongs to you, my brides, but if not, I will find someone else willing to accept them. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.